Hello everyone, so again we here and welcome back to another Steamcraft episode. After 7 hours of gameplay, I finally reached level 14, which is basically the most important beginner level because it's unlocking lots of lots of stuff. A new crafting material, of course, a new weapon, upgraded weapons and movement parts. And also this cabin, vehicle core. Now, normal propeller is superior than the hover jet in every way. The only good thing about the hover jet is its size. It has a smaller size. It does not occupy much more space as normal propeller. You can cover this movement part really well. It is really hard to destroy from far distance because of the size of it. And that's basically the only advantage to using it. So in this build, I tried to protect the cabin and my movement part. So I added lots of cubes underneath of my vehicle. It will be also effective against ground units. It will be much harder to destroy my build. And we also have this tank tracks. You're not buying the whole track. You're actually buying only piece of it. After buying piece of it, the only thing you need to do is attach one of them like this now it doesn't come up with the standard shape so by putting them next to each other you can create really interesting track designs for example two of them next to each other it makes something like this let's continue three of them next to each other makes a triangle track now for example i want to make it even longer I just need to put more and more and more tracks. I think it goes like that. Three versions of it like this. Triangle and the standard track. The standard track, it can be long as you want. It just goes like that. Like you can make a really, really long track as you can see. You can put two tracks on a one block. Now you can put up wheels higher. There is no limitation, but as you can see, it automatically disables it, so it will be not active. It is fast as well. Is it to climb the hills? There we go. Each track wheel moves separately, like in real tank game. So of course, right now, aircraft in this game are much more superior than the ground forces. To win the game, you just need to put railgun and propellers. Basically, that's it. And you can just snipe the enemies across the map with 100% accuracy. But yeah, as you can see, this is the track of the steam craft as a last item we got mortar let's check it out as you can see we have artillery aim similar to the world of tank artillery by the way this dots around it let's try to hit the space Twelve hundred damage guys it is just insane anyway let's look at the railgun 4 it has 338 damage. Guys, let's try to hit someone. There we go. Is it a hit? Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> I actually hit someone. Insane. Absolutely insane. But unfortunately, I think hitting the moving targets will be really, really painful. Oh god, this... Is that a player or bot? I don't know. But he really wants me. Let's drop it a bit here. Oh, another direct shot. I don't think I can win against railgun user with this build. I'm 100% sure. Oof, that's a player. Oh god. 
Oh no. Oh no, it's not stable as propeller. I don't like this. Give me directed. Nah. Oh boy. Yep, this is it. Come on! Almost, almost. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, that was so close. That was so close. He flipped, he flipped. Yes, I destroyed him. He has a Tesla gun, so he's not gonna be able to reach me. I think I'm gonna be able to win this, guys. This mortar deals insane amount of damage. Like, direct hit is guaranteed one shot. So I can easily say that aircraft builds are superior to the ground units. Easily. That was just beautiful. Okay, guys, that's enough Steamcraft for today. If you have any build recommendations, you can type in the comment section. But I'm gonna see you next time. Peace out.